Oh, look at the wobble. Oh, look at the wobble. Oh, whoa, 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 that's not good. Oh, let's go get it. Retrieving. Around over there. Oh, yeah, she's bust up a bit. Got a plane. Ah. Got the plane out. Well, not too bad. I can fix that. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're staying safe and well. Here is my sad looking F8E Crusader. Those of you who watch my videos would have seen me pile it into a bush. So the wing's broken, as you can see, clearly see, right where the spar finishes. But I think that's just a coincidence because this hit on the dog tooth. But the brake is so clean, I am going to glue that back together. It's got a few stress marks on the paint and the wing. So I might put some clear clear coat over it. I might even put some packing tape over it. Aileron was broken, of course, but only this part. So I've actually cut that off with a scalpel. I will be removing it, trimming this down, gluing this back on, and then making some mylar hinges and using them on it. You can see here the tail suffered a little bit. Again I would stress this was not completely off. You can see the ragged pieces up to this point. This had come away and this is the bit I've cut off with a scalpel. I think this gave way causing the plane to invert, dive down and hit a bush. That's my excuse anyway and it sounds a good one. This will have the same treatment as the aileron. The elevator will be removed from the horn, sorry, the clevis. I'll trim it all out and refit it using mylar hinges. So the final part was she got a bit of a broken nose. So this black will come off, this plastic. I've ordered a new piece. It costs about a pound, one pound fifty. I'll be putting heat on this to try and bring it out a bit, heat on this to straighten it up because it is uh, cracked. Then I'll be gluing it back into place. A few jobs to do, could have been a lot worse. Right, so the next job I can do is attach the broken wing together, just like that. If I use foam tack for that, I should be able to get it tacky enough so it binds straight away. I'm just going to put foam tack all over this. Do that one more time. Take it out. Go stringy. Wait a few minutes, and then we'll put that back on. I won't put the slits in there yet until I've got my hinges. We'll do the same with this. That's it. He's ready for the hinging to be done. So next is the nose. We have to take this black plastic piece off it. It's just glued on. Then we'll be able to try and straighten that out. 
I'll use a hot air gun on this whole section to see if I can put this back where it needs to go. Not sure whether it's best left down or that like that. Let's leave it like that. Pretty much right now. So this has had a couple of hours to cure and I'm pretty happy with it and I'm confident enough to do this. So now what I'm going to do is take that up, I'll put some white, white, I'll put some clear packing tape over this part and of course I'm quite fortunate because where it broke I'll just put the black tape back here because the brake actually comes down. This wing repair is coming along quite nicely, I've stitched it all up here. <laughs> oh, it's taking me back to my training days. Every time I patched the plane up I did stitching around the patch and I put ouch or ooh that hurt, that type of thing. I've decided to do that on the top just to make light of the matter. Underneath, I've stripped the black tape away that I have had here. I've put this reinforced fibre tape on the underside. So that covers the crack completely where the ring broke off. And then I'll cover that with the black tape. Put the wing back together. I've got tape, basically packing tape across there. And the packing tape wraps around under here. And then I've got this reinforced tape underneath this black tape. My hinges have arrived. And these are them. So these are the mylar hinges I put in. They're not glued in yet, they're just pushed in. So you can see I can take them out. And you just use that. Put them in. What we'll do, we'll start at this end. So we basically just put that there like that. And that should be half. The width, in fact, we'll bring it over to there. We'll use this device, which just slots in. And then you push. And let's put two puncture marks in here. I'm trying to do this with the camera. There's one, and you just run your scalpel along. I'll turn it the other way, find the other one, there. I need a new blade, there we go. If this was it, this is a bit thin, although I might use this one on here. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, that's quite far, it goes to the front here. So you put that one in, measure one and a half because I'm using one and a half centimetre lengths into the actual moving surface. And that's one of the hinges done. Then you do one at this end, find the equidistance in the middle and repeat the process. They're 1.5 centimetres across. They're 1.5 centimetres in to the fixed surface and they'll be about 1.5 centimetres into the moving surface. And that's the same for the elevator and the aileron. So next all I have to do is mark on the moving surfaces, cut the slits and try them for fit and then glue them. This arrived today, so I'll be gluing that back on. And so that's done. Well, it's basically glued in, and it's got full movement. The only trouble is the horns in the way. 
down here, but it's got full movement. And also I'll be running some foam tack down there to give it a nice seal. And it's basically in place repaired. So I'm looking at the other railer on this side and gauging the distance between the two sides. Bending the foam hinge down. Again, this is a pretty awkward model to do this with because it's got this rod here. The push rod that drives the elevator. It gets in the way of everything when you're trying to work on the wing. But I can basically bend this down like this and mark where I need to cut where these hinges are. So that's just an approximation. It's coming away there. It doesn't look as though I trimmed this. I thought I had. It'll be okay there. So there are the slits I've got to put in for these tabs. And I'll get on and do that now. These can come out. All I need to do is to just angle this piece a little. I just snip that off, snip that off, it's a bit much there, but snip that off and snip that off. It just makes them so much easier to go in to where they've got to go. There you go. I've cut the slits in the aileron. I've pushed in the mylar hinge. And then what I need to do is to try it for fit. They might need trimming down, holes might need making bigger. And there it is, that's pretty good actually, I like that. It's a good result. So with this in place, I'm now just going to mark, doesn't matter whether you do the top or bottom, I'll do the bottom, I just want to mark a line across the mylar, because I know in that position it works perfectly. And I glue those in place. So here's the aileron. These are all glued in and the fit's pretty pretty good actually. I can almost just do it blindfolded. They fit in there perfectly. So the next stage is to do just that. Just the way I do it, and I can't do it on camera, is I use the very thin adapter on the CA dispenser and just run it into the cuts then I smear it over the mylar and push them together and so I've just finished gluing those in and I think it's pretty good so it hinges down, hinges up so just finished the last jobs on the Crusader I purchased the spare nose cone from Motion RC. Used a heat gun to straighten the foam out of the nose, and I've used this foam tack to glue that in place. The other thing I had to do was this had split down here and deformed. So I've used a heat gun on it. It has blistered a bit, but it's now glued in place. Just got to let that go really. Not hard because it's foam tack, it just bonds the foam. And then take her up to the field for a maiden plus one, fingers crossed without a crash. The other thing I have done, this Lemon RX has three pots here. They were set at 50%, so I've turned them down so they're almost at 10% and they're the gyro sensitivity so it's dialed right back 
and I've still got gain control low and high on my transmitter. But that's it, basically fixed. That's the repair of the F8E. I think it's the F8E. If it isn't, I'll cut this bit out. But that's the repair of the Crusader. She's ready to fly again.